Hello guys, my name is Kautun and welcome to another uh, tutorial video. Uh, in this case, we want to teach you on how to design a road using SEPAC. So what you need is the is to navigate to your working directory, the one that you want to work in. Then set it as, set it as a working directory. From there, you need to open the topo of the area of interest. In this case, I have already opened mine. This is the topo for the area that you want to work in. And we want a road that will pass through here. So we had already picked the road uh, position. So you have this. Let me uh, make this uh, visible. You will see this is the road is correctly on top of the topo. So again, you don't need to snap to point when you are doing the when you are digitizing the road. Still fine. Anyway, after digitizing the road and making it in a different string file. La string layer sorry you then come here then you click on this blank page space then you select the surface design click here menus surface design as you can see the surface uh, design menu appear here from there you go to road design you then uh, design road horizontal alignment it will ask you to choose here sorry here it will ask you to choose the horizontal say a design segment then you select as you can see this segment is uh one two three uh bands which need that uh, caps so i'm going to select the string output to three we're going to leave the name road to plant as it is initial change one is correct a change interval is 20 so we are okay with this one then calculate uh, road parameters. In this case, we will start with 20 for the first uh, cave. Then here you go to radius. You select the radius you want for the first cave. Uh, if you select a higher radius, maybe 50. Let's say, say 70 or 90 for interest sake. You come to calculate. It will show you whether the the radius is okay to make a curve there or not if you select a higher way higher radius and think i say calculate let me try to put maybe 500 here for clarity then you here is check here to say invalid which means it won't make your roads when you want to finish calculating so you have to check for this so in this case our first bend uh the radius should be 24 then we say calculate as you can see it it writes valid then we can mark this one as finished then we select the po second uh, point the radius is 30 some of you will be wondering where we get this radius uh this is calculated by the surveyors and the engineers so we are just using what uh they want then you just say calculate again this one is valid then for the end point they wanted uh 15 uh, the velocity, car velocity in that area is 15 kilometers. And then we change here, we want it to be 19 the radius. Then you calculate again, it's valid. Then you say, so which means these are the fixed parameters. Then you say apply. Then from there, you go again to road design. Make sure that you are working in the correct layer here. Then again, we come to drape. We want to drape this segment. Uh, sorry, before that, as you can see or as you will notice, we have this caved area, this caved line, which is our string number three. This is the one that we were making. So from here, we can go to road design. Then you are saying drape segment over a DTM. You select the segment. We want to select the segment that we are working on this is the uh, this is the one then you select the dtm layer in this case in our working directory we only have the dtm that you want to work with then we you either you can interpolate points new points or you can leave it it's up to you then you say apply then from there it will process after processing you have the the new uh, line being different to the white line uh the curved line being different to the original line 
as you can see it's now even if you open the DTM you see this one is draping on the DTM watch closely it's on top of the DTM so again you switch off the DTM get it back to the plain view then you can zoom in close like this so that you, when you want to select the blue line you can select it with ease again come here to road design then you go to create longitudinal section then it will ask you to select the segment this is our segment we select it then string number output you want it to be string number five vertical view scale it's up to you i want two then you say apply this is our this is now our new uh, a view our longitudinal view of this blue line here from here what you need to do is to select snap to point first then after selecting to po snap to point you go to road design then you say create new point using mouse we you select here it depending on the gradient that you want for for the for your road you want something like this maybe here up to the end there then you just say escape then from there you go back to road design then one a uh, design vertical alignment we are aligning uh this green line to the one which uh, we have digitized right now so you say select there it will choose choose the vertical design which is this white line which is our design if you select the wrong line you will notice that it will have more points than you than this one so this one we know that it is uh, one two three four so you need to have four or uh, at least four four or less not more than four points so you select this one as you can see we have four we have uh, three points then the output uh, string you want it to be seven the interval is 20 here the curve length we want it to be uh, let's say 80 80 then 80 let me drag this up to here you will notice that it has created a a string number seven which is the let me say apply so that you can see it properly if you zoom in this is the curve sometimes you have a different radius so you have to work with uh, what you are having from here you go to road design again you say apply longitudinal profile then you select so it will say uh view, the view that is uh, that contains the longitudinal profile which is this view and this line is our longitudinal profile so you pick this line they need to ask you the view which co contains the horizontal design which is this one then it will ask you to, uh, to pick the horizontal design which is the this one in blue i think ask uh, number three then you say apply then you it will give you something like this then you say apply then sometimes when it's giving you a warning like this it means uh the starting point and the ending point are not telling with the whatever you are having that's why we're snap, uh, snapping it on point so you might have to go and redo the the radius for for this line the longitudinal line so so when it finishes you have something like this you open the top view and uh, align it with the topo to see if it's matching whatever you want in this case i think i'm satisfied with the with the top view so we just come here and close this one close this view then you are left with the top view as it is right now so from here what you need to do is close the topo again then we are left with this uh, line yeah if you open the topo let me check you see that these are now the areas that needs to be cut and some of the areas that needs to be filled anyway from here you go to road design then you say create 
road outline you select the road uh, this which is going to be our, uh, the center of our road in this case then string number output a number eight we want it to be maybe a four meter five meters this side five meters this side then you just say apply you have a, a nice road like this sometimes it will have some points like this so i have a easier way to find those uh, lines just create a dtm by layer then you say perform a break test then you say apply it will show you areas which have uh, those anomalies as you can see you can then then go to edit point delete point uh, you select points to be edited which is this one i wouldn't worry about the center line points i would just want the points which are not on the center so these are the points which i'm worried about from the outer layer like this one as you can see i think we have eradicated it these are the joints they don't meet in this case so again go to surfaces create dtm then remove the break test then you just say apply ah sorry before you do that uh let me undo this you need to delete uh this line also edit segment so that you will create a beta uh dtm we no longer need that line that's why it was giving us too many errors then you go to surfaces create remove the break test then you just say apply as you can see this is the dtm that you now have you can go to again surfaces for you to trim it to come out nice a clip dtm you select the dtm you select the outer line and you retain triangles which are inside then you say apply this is our road you can now save this one road then i can say final then i say apply then if you open your topo again you see this is where your road is so these are the areas that will need to be cut and these are the areas that will need to be filled make sure to like and subscribe so that we continue making more videos like this thank you guys for watching you can actually go here then go to design a segment properties you select this one you can go here properties you can make it translucent you can edit the color then okay then apply that way you 